We are at Tia Wellness here in Da Nang, Vietnam. We had three wonderful and relaxing nights here, and we can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Drew. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more videos just like this. All right, so let's jump right into our review. Our first category is location. Location, we rate four stars. We're located almost halfway between Da Nang and Hoi An here on a beautiful, beautiful stretch of beach that is world famous for its beautiful beautiful soft sand. This is a small boutique property with a beautiful stretch of landscaping and lush foliage right on the beachfront. From that perspective, its location in Da Nang is absolutely amazing. A lot of the high-rise resorts farther down the beach in Da Nang have a road that separates the hotel from the beach, but we don't have that down here. The bay in front of the hotel has this beautiful green water that you really find off the entire coast of Vietnam. And the sand in this particular area is so beautiful. It's soft, it's white, there's all kinds of little seashells, but it's not hard sand. It's quite nice. Now, while we were here, the waves were a little bit rougher. That is seasonal. There were some swells that came in, and we even saw in Da Nang some people surfing. Typically, they do go through periods where it is a lot calmer weather. Really, the only drawback of this location was you weren't within walking distance of any other restaurants, and you weren't able to kind of go directly to a site. You can walk the beach, and that is an amazing benefit here because literally in both directions, you can walk the beach endlessly. There's really no end to how far you can walk whether you're headed towards the Nang or you're headed down towards the Hoi An area if you even wanted to you really could walk for hours the only other unfortunate drawback is there is an abandoned hotel that is next to the property. It does kind of loom over the property in a way. It does appear that it was unfinished midway through construction, and hopefully somebody will fix that up and it'll be a beautiful hotel next door, and maybe that'll even give a couple more dining venues close by to go and visit. That being said, despite nothing being directly next door, it is a quick cab ride away from Da Nang or Hoi An, about 10 minutes or so to Da Nang, 30 minutes or so to Hoi An, and Marble Mountain is only a few minutes away by car. You could even walk there if you walk about 30 to 35 minutes. So it is convenient for that reason. If you want to learn more about the area and some of the things to do, make sure to check out our video that we have on the Hoi An Da Nang area where we did get to cover a few things and we'll tell you a little bit more about what you want to plan for when you're here. Our second category is Lobby and Check-In. Lobby and Check-In, we rate five stars. We showed up here around 11 a.m. and it was an absolutely incredible experience. The second you drive into the property, it is super, super relaxing. The hotel is very low key. The lobby is beautiful with white and black tones, which is also found around the entire resort. While our room wasn't ready that early, they did let us know at the exact time the room would be ready at 12.30. They checked us in with a beautiful welcome tea and let us roam around the property. One thing we found out was that the moment you check in, you are allowed to have your all day breakfast, which we'll talk more about in dining, but it was just a really peaceful and relaxing experience when we stepped into the property. Driving into the property really sets the expectation. You go down this long street of of beautiful bamboo on either side. The bellmen were super attentive, grabbed our luggage, took us right in, had that seated check-in. And like Marin said, although the room wasn't ready, we were able to just hang out by the pool. And when the room was ready, we were given a thorough tour of the room, as well as a description of all the things on property that you can do, including all the amazing benefits of booking at this property, which we'll talk more about in facilities. But that brings us to our third category, which is rooms. Rooms, we rate 4.5 stars. All of the rooms on property are villa style and they all have private pools. They essentially have three room types on property. There are pool villas, there's a two bedroom villa and a three bedroom villa, but they're all very much the same. We are located in building block 30 and 3004 and it is a absolutely beautiful villa. It is one large room, but it has a separated living space, bedroom, beautiful bathroom and a beautiful private outdoor area. The pool is large and beautiful and sits amongst lush foliage as well as a separate patio area with an L-shaped couch and two chaise lounge. There is even an outdoor shower that just has cold water, but it is such a refreshing dip in the outdoor shower. The living space has a similar L-shaped couch overlooking the patio with floor-to-ceiling doors and windows. The bedroom itself is absolutely beautiful. There's a canopy-style bed with a beautiful linen 
covering that matches a lot of the linens around the property, so it really ties that style in nicely. The bathroom is definitely my favorite part of the room with a deep soaking tub, double vanity, shower with a stunning view of the patio, and a separate toilet room. The mini bar is also included in your stay. It's part of their wellness inclusive concept. It has detox waters, regular waters, plenty, plenty of bottled water, by the way, which is amazing, as well as some detox snacks. They have things like dried pineapple and peanuts, so it all kind of forms into that healthy habits, wellness inclusive concept. One of the things I love about the design is that their standard room is so large and feels so private, but it really isn't a standalone villa. It's actually a really clever design for a building where you're actually part of four villas that are in this kind of quad. And the way you walk into it, you have this kind of dark hallway and then each room has their own access, but it really makes it very private and also really separates the space. So you have a view on either side. You don't feel like you're next to anybody, which is kind of an interesting concept of the way it's designed. And of course, as Marin said, the room is beautiful. It has all these gorgeous beige tones, whites and blacks that are complemented throughout the style of cross property. It's a really beautiful and relaxing room. The room has pretty much anything you could need. And if you are missing anything, they come within seconds to bring it to you because it is a very small property. The only thing we felt was missing from the room was an espresso machine or something like it. They do have tea and a drip coffee in the form of a tea bag, but I felt like an espresso is really critical for a five-star experience. One thing we'd love to see in the future is the addition of a master switch to easily turn off all the lights and possibly the addition of bath salts or other amenities in the room just to kind of go with that whole wellness concept, which they're already doing so well. And just as a quick note, I love a firm mattress and Marin does too, but it is worth noting that the mattress is on the firm side for some of you that might like a really soft bed. The last thing that we'll reiterate about rooms is just how beautiful the foliage is. It's just grown in all around the rooms and it just has this amazing feeling to it where you really feel like you're in a jungle environment. All the ivy that's grown over the walls, around the shower, all these beautiful, beautiful plants. It's really, really gorgeous. Our fourth category is service. Service for rate four stars. Immediately upon entering the property, you just feel so zen. And part of that is because of how the staff treats you. They are so kind, so patient and quiet, and they're very understated in how they provide their service. Overall, the service has been excellent. The one area that service did fall short was actually not in housekeeping, <laughs> believe it or not, if you watch some of our other videos, but rather the service at the pool. The pool staff were not particularly attentive, and while they were quick to provide towels and clean up the pool area, they didn't provide any additional service, like bringing water or asking if you would like beverages or food at the pool. That being said, the staff in housekeeping, front desk, and the dining are excellent, and they really do a great job providing an elevated service experience. As Marin said, if you watch a lot of our reviews, you'll know that housekeeping is always something that we're a stickler about, but the housekeeping of this property has been lovely. The property is extremely clean. Everything is beige and white and these light colors, and yet they've maintained these beautiful fabrics, these beautiful light colors. They've removed the stains, and we've seen people literally scrubbing chairs and scrubbing things down in order to make sure that they are completely maintained. It's an extremely impressive housekeeping service, and their turndown is fabulous. Turndown really turns over a room completely. They clean seemingly everything in the room at turndown as well, including new towels, really straightening your bed. One of the things we've noticed in Vietnam in particular is that the first day that you check in, your bed looks fabulous, but subsequent days, it doesn't quite look as good. Versus here at this hotel, both morning and night, when they come in the morning and they turn it over, it looks fabulous. I really can't say enough about how good the housekeeping is. And one of my favorite things they do on property is the nightly gift. It is so on theme. Every night there is something wellness related in the room that you get to keep. And every night it comes with a card that explains what the gift is and how to use it. So you're not just getting something on the bed, not sure what it is. They have a very descriptive card that details everything about it. My favorite nightly gift were the Hoi An lanterns on our last night. They told us to write a wish inside the lantern and set it off into the pool. And I think that was a really nice touch. Overall, we feel like there is a lot of staff on property so there's not just a lot of housekeepers that are able to do an exceptional job, but there's a lot of dining staff, a lot of bellmen, and they're seemingly everywhere. It's no wonder they can maintain the property so well with how many staff there are 
for how many guests have been on property. One area where the staff was very attentive was dining, almost too attentive. And interestingly enough, the exact opposite of the experience that you have at the pool, where it was kind of hard to get someone's attention or hard to get service. In the dining, somebody was always there. And I think it was because they had so many staff per number of guests, but in a way they were almost too attentive. And I think that comes from maybe a, a lack of refined training around how to provide the best guest service, where they wanted to provide something to you, but sometimes they weren't sure what it was. So oftentimes they'd take away glasses of water that were half full or fill a glass of wine that only had one sip out of it. There was this eagerness to please, which is a great problem to have, but I do think there's just a tad bit of refinement and just letting things sit a little longer that I think the staff could definitely benefit from in dining. But management was also very on top of it and there is active training going on. You can see that they're very receptive to feedback. We were asked how our breakfast was, how our meals were almost every single meal. And when we did provide feedback in the case of the coffee specifically at breakfast was not as good as the coffee at the other breakfast venue. The next day, the coffee was identical. They had fixed the problem. It was too hot of water and they solved it. It was wonderful. It was really cool to see that from one day to another, they had immediately made that change. Finally, the last place we had excellent service was the spa. The spa is included in your room rate. You get two 80 minute treatments a day, one per person. And the spa staff were amazing. We had no problem getting the slots of time that we wanted for the spa treatments and they were always on time and always did a great job. Our fifth category is dining. Dining very four stars. One of the coolest things about the dining on property is the concept of all day breakfast. Every guest, regardless of the plan that you book, has access to breakfast all day. From the moment you check in till the moment you check out, you can choose to have your breakfast at any time, including the middle of the night. You can have it in three different ways. There's room service, which is 24 hours. There's the a la carte restaurant down at the pool, which is all day from 6.30 to 10 p.m. And then there's the buffet restaurant from 6.30 until 10 a.m. But that is just the coolest concept. Sometimes on vacation, you just don't wanna wake up for breakfast and now you don't have to, which is amazing. While breakfast is included in every rate, other meals are not included and the prices are American standard. So you are paying essentially American prices in Vietnam, which seems a bit high for the area. They do have a retreat package that is full board, but it is a plant-based full board package. It would be great to see them introduce a full board or even an all-inclusive package. I think that would go along with the kind of relaxing spa environment that they have to also not really have to worry so much about meals and food. We did see a lot of people going out in the evening to go to Da Nang as an option for dinner. And a lot of people did specifically quote to us the price being one of the reasons that they were leaving the property. So I do think that it's a great opportunity to get out and visit Hoi An and Da Nang and some of the surrounding areas, as well as some of the lovely hotels that are down the beach. But I do definitely think it could benefit from that relaxing retreat environment if they had another full board package that wasn't specifically vegan or plant-based. There were also some oddities around that plant-based and vegan offerings. They did have certain things like a lobster banh mi, which I was really excited about, but kind of left me feeling flat. And it was made with vegan mayo, which seemed a little counterintuitive. They also put vegan mayo on the burger, which also kind of felt like it missed the point. There seemed to be a couple things that were inconsistent, particularly I would say at the all day dining venue. And we actually thought that their breakfast buffet and their fine dining option up near the reception was probably the better of the two choices you have here on property. The first night we actually had our complimentary breakfast for dinner because we didn't realize that we could have had our complimentary breakfast at any point since check-in that morning. And it was pretty good. Luckily, pho is considered breakfast food in Vietnam. <laughs> so for me, that was a very easy choice. The second night we did have dinner in their fine dining restaurant, which was actually a great experience. The food there was excellent. While the wine prices were American prices by the time tax rolled in, the food quality was actually very high. Another thing that's missing from real five-star dining here is a more extensive cocktail list. You're looking at kind of your standard Mai Tais, daiquiris, pina coladas, and I was really surprised to not even see like an apple spritz or something just a little bit more beach and forward modern cocktail craft culture. Something a little bit more mixology focused would really be in line with their whole theme. And since they'd have so much of the plant-based food and the focus on kind of fresh ingredients, it would be amazing to see some real mixology using those fresh ingredients like basil and mint and some of the lighter alcohols and not so sugar focused like pina coladas and Mai Tais. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities for rate five stars. This is a wellness retreat and they do a great job of it. Every rate comes with an 80 minute spa treatment per person. And if you book the retreat package, it comes with an extra treatment per person per day. That experience is incredible and the spa is beautiful. The spa makes up almost half of the 
property and they have a number of treatment rooms. They have a separate spa pool with a beautiful waterfall and tons of lounge spaces. Guests can access the spa facilities at any time during their stay, even without the spa treatment. And one of the things we learned was that you can actually book a private sauna steam couples room an hour before your spa treatment if you want to just go use the facilities. And that was probably my favorite part of the spa. They also have included activities like yoga and breath work, as well as a creative art class. There's so many wellness focused things on this property. And when you really think about the whole combination of everything, it's the all day breakfast. You can get up late or early, have that breakfast whenever you want. There's multiple pools. You can lounge out in your big soaking tub and go back and forth into your pool. You can book the sauna experience before the 80 minute massage for an hour. So you have almost two and a half, three hours of this spa experience. You can hang out by the spa pool or the main pool. You can really spend your entire day on this property, really just relaxing, enjoying wellness time. And of course, one of the top facilities that they have here is the gym. There's two separate gym spaces, a great cardio space that's light and airy, and then a more aesthetically dark space for the weights and the punching bag. It gives off kind of a CrossFit vibe. And that all really goes with this style of kind of the yin and yang that they have across property, the whites and the darks completely tying together again in this kind of gym environment and throughout the rest of the property. And my other favorite part of the property is on the other side, which is the beach area. The beach and the main pool are so beautiful and they do have chairs and a little dining set down on the beach as well. So that's a great place to hang out if you don't want to be by the pool and you could just have your toes in the sand. We always love the beach and it was so gorgeous. Those pool chairs are so nice and the beach chairs equally are great. It would be really great to add to that facilities aspect a little bit of service on the beach where they're a little bit more forward with bringing you water and drinks. I think that would really add to that experience. As we talked about in location, we are located about 20 minutes from Huayan, which is a famous old quarter town. It is so beautiful. And the hotel operates two shuttles a day to and from Huayan Center. The shuttle is completely free and the first one leaves at 11 a.m. and comes back at 5 p.m. And there is a later shuttle as well. That's a great way to experience the town that is located so close. If you did choose to take a cab, it does cost about 400,000 dong each way, which is a little bit less than $20. In addition to the free shuttle to Hoi An, they do have a number of excursions that you can book directly through the property. They have a calligraphy experience that you can book in Hoi An, as well as the Lady Buddha and going to Marble Mountain. So there are a number of things that you can book through the hotel that are all in the surrounding area and pretty convenient to get to. Our seventh and final category is style. Style we rate five stars. The style on this property is honestly on point. It is so well done and it is so thorough and everything works together on the property from the tablecloths to the canopy over the bed. It's just extremely considered throughout. As you travel throughout Vietnam, you'll come across a lot of Buddhist symbolism. And one of the things about this property is the yin and the yang. You see this everywhere. You see this black and white contrasted, whether it's this combination of the cardio room and the gym, kind of how those two contrast, whether it's the decorations of the furniture with the black wood contrasted by the very light fabrics that are surrounding it. And even the way that they've done the hallways, the outsides of the rooms have these black dark hallways, the insides have white walls, and they have a lot of black and white photography throughout property as well, where they have beautiful photos from across Vietnam in black and white. It just has this really soothing feeling to the entire property. And it really does, again, align well with that entire ethos of wellness. The entire property has comfortable, low furniture. So there's a lot of lounge spaces. Even when it was raining, they left the cushions out and they just do an exceptional job taking care of them. So you can really sit anywhere around property at any time without fear of the cushions being taken away. The pool and center of the property is also an amazing part of the aesthetic of this property. When you walk out of the reception, you look down this beautiful walkway with this amazing water feature that leads you to the infinity pool out onto the beautiful beach and across to the ocean. And your eye just really gets led to the horizon down this incredible passageway that they've created with the bamboo and the large fan palms. It really has this amazing aesthetic to the entire property. Yeah, I absolutely love the style and it really is a relaxing environment that they were trying to create and they did a great job of doing it. And as you can see, we are wearing our robes right now. It has really been kind of the outfit of choice throughout our stay. I think we've worn them probably 60% of the time that we've been on property and you'll see people wear them everywhere, whether it's the spa or straight to the restaurant. It's kind of the vibe of this entire property, wellness inclusive. It's really, really nice and super relaxing. Yeah, we absolutely loved it here, which brings us to our overall rating of 4.5 stars. Tia Wellness is an amazing, relaxed, 
relaxing retreat away from Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh, and it is absolutely somewhere we'd recommend stopping by if you are in the Da Nang Hoi An region. It's certainly a great place to recuperate and relax. The wellness program just allows you to completely decompress, and if you have been traveling in some of those cities that are kind of crazy, it's a really nice way to kind of get that breath of fresh air, come out on the beach, relax, get a lot of massages. It really feels great. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you don't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be coming out with much more content from here in Vietnam, as well as places around the world. And if you followed us on Instagram, you will have already seen our entire stay at Tia Wellness play out on our stories and on our feeds. So if you don't already, be sure to follow us at Voyager Group. And be sure to go check out our website where we have full written reviews of every hotel that we stay at. If we didn't make a video for a hotel, we do always have a written review for that hotel. And of course, there's also destination guides there where you can get much more information about how to book, when to book, and useful tips for finding the right hotels, finding the right places to go, seasonality, and that type of thing. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.